uh, it was a like, long journey, you know, and uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to all my team and all of my sponsors. Yeah, um, actually, the, the idea of this pop-up was to give awareness to Congolese cuisine, African cuisine in general. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to raise money as well to give to Wonder Foundation, who care about uh, nurse back in Africa and, uh, and the kids. I did my best to organize it nicely, and I think most of people was happy. It's the uh, most important, actually. It was a full house, I noticed, and the food was amazing. So uh, before tonight, what was a bit your journey? How did you arrive in London? So we, we can all hear with two foreigners in a <laughs> foreign land. Where, where were you born, and how did you get into cooking? Yeah, actually, uh, my, my journey is very long. I come from Congo. I was born in Congo, and I uh, left Congo when I was 13 after the first civil war in Congo. So I arrived in France where I did all my trainings. Then I moved in London a few years after, after opening a restaurant in Toulouse. So now it's almost 12 years, no, 10 years I'm in London. And uh, I work with many good chefs. And uh, I decided to work as a private chef and uh, to do my pop-up restaurant to give awareness to Congolese cuisine in African cuisine in general, doing Afrofusion. So yeah, you've been doing the Afrofusion thing. So you had had a restaurant in South of France, Toulouse. Now, if somebody wanted to eat your food, other than the private chef gigs, where can we try your food? Yeah, but you have to follow me because I keep moving. <laughs> I'm going place to place to place because the idea of doing pop-ups is bringing food to people instead of having restaurants so i prefer uh, go satisfy everybody because i say i'm doing like kind of campaign of african cuisine so i need to be active moving everywhere so i'm here in oxton next time will be in london bridge and uh, after i'm gonna be in belgium in france so i keep moving so you work internationally which country have you been so far to cook for a private event yeah the last last time like six months ago i've been in canada and i go a lot in africa as well i go to congo mostly i go, I go in congo which is my country because uh, that, uh, I think for me that's the way to give back no? to Congo. I go there to train people and do my pop-ups restaurant as well and educate people about the new cuisine, new African cuisine, uh, Afrofusion. Fantastic. And I, and I know you talk about Afrofusion. Do you actually mix other cultures or other countries? Do, 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 are you inspired by other countries or cuisines when you do African food? Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm, I'm a French trained chef. So my, 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 my profession, I mean French professional chef, but I use my background and I get inspired of all the country in Africa. And because I'm, I travel a lot, I've been like in Japan, I've been in Brazil, I've been in Canada as well. So I use all my experience and put it on a plate. So are we saying? So are we saying that you are including foreign ingredients? Yeah, are you, of course. I would, like, like today we did a, 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 a shot of safu. Safu is a wild herbs we have in Africa. We use mostly for sauce, but I use it as a cleanser, as a like a smoothie. So I try to modernize those are uh, old recipes. Yes. And tell us a bit more about um, um, this Louis Wild Honey, which I tasted on the dessert. Yeah, so Louis Louis Wild Honey. Actually, the story is the, the honey comes from Congo, in, in Ba Congo. So it's like a traditional and uh, organic honey we take in Congo and sell here. So it's very, like, nothing, um, no chemical. It's uh, natural, okay. organic, and all good to eat. So we're trying to do the promotion of that. Is why I use it for, for my desserts. Okay, and I can see another sponsor, Kivu. Kivu, Kivu is a coffee, which comes from, yeah, because the, uh, the tartlet, I did the dessert, I did, I put coffee and chocolate. So the, 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 the coffee I use comes from Kivu. And we sell it here, well, I mean, they sell it here as well in London, but basically most of the thing I'm using come from Congo. So, so the Kivu, uh, Kivu coffee, I use a uh, wild uh, honey, come from Congo as well. Mm -hmm. And as well, I have uh, Longonia wine. Okay. Yeah, which is Congolese wine, actually. Okay. I mean, the, the owner is a Congolese and he get inspired by uh, the products we have in Congo. Like he have a uh, mango wine, which is amazing with fish. And uh, we got, we he have banana wine as well. We many kind of uh, African, um, uh, fruits you use uh, as a wine it's just something amazing as opposed to grapes so that's quite unusual and obviously as we said the found the wonder foundation that you are actually going to be supporting tonight yeah um what's next for chef mick elise many 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 things next so i'm working actually uh, i got a lot of projects uh, so my but my 
here in London, my next pop-up will be, will be in London Bridge, maybe uh, in two months. Okay. So I will, I will put an advice everywhere on in Instagram so people who follow me, they can see where to find me by uh, the next month, actually. And any project you have a residency or a standalone place for a little while so people can come and see you whenever? Uh, not for now. Now no, I prefer to move. Fantastic. Sending, I mean, bringing food to people. I think, as I said, no, I got people who follow me. That some of them are in Belgium, in Paris, in Manchester. So if I got a residency in London, yeah. it's gonna be a bit difficult for them to come to see me. Yeah, but the residency is on a project. It will come shortly. But now I can't really talk about it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to hold on and yeah. wait until we see you again. So fantastic. I mean, everybody seems to have loved the food. Um, and also, I wanted to ask you, what was the fish? In a banana leaf that we had tonight. Oh, so but, uh, the fish was a uh, pangasus. Pangasus is, is like a uh, tilapia. No, 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 no tilapia. No, no, sorry, no, no, no tilapia. Catfish. It's kind of catfish. Catfish, but it's um, more meaty and uh, less bony than catfish. Okay. And uh, in Congolese we call it. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Liboke, <laughs> eh? no, 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 liboke because liboke? liboke is because we cook it on those leaves, and the leaves ah, actually, liboke. yeah, actually the leaves come from Africa. They come from uh, the, the f- banana leaf. Bana- no, it's not, it's not a banana leaf. It's a um, it's banana leaf and liboke leaves. Oh, okay. And uh, those those leaves come from Africa, from uh, La, La Forêt du Mayombe, the Mayombe forest. Okay. Which uh, forest we have in, in Congo, okay. the second biggest forest after the Amazon. Okay. Well, thank you very much. So that was uh, K Flawless for Idyllic Media. And uh, we will be back very soon with your next pop-up, I hope. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Euh, nous avons passé une très bonne soirée, euh, le, la cuisine était très bonne. Nous avons en, dans l'ensemble tout apprécié, que ce soit de l'entrée jusqu'au, euh, jusqu'au, jusqu'au dessert. C'était vraiment très très bon et euh, donc je recommande à beaucoup de gens de passer par le chef Michael Élysée pour, euh, pour passer un bon, un bon repas. Oh, oh, the fish was lovely. The lamb was fantastic. Um, we, we enjoyed everything. It was really good. So, you know, we'll come next time um, uh, whenever. We'll come whenever. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Ortho. I live in London. And uh, my partner has volunteered for the Wonder Foundation in the, in the past. So we know them well. We wanted to support the organization tonight with this dinner. And the food was just fantastic. It really was great. Um, the fish was stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, the lamb was lovely, um, uh, and the tart to begin was amazing as well. I think they did a fantastic job this evening, and it's great that it's for such a good cause. So, you know, couldn't be better. So I'm Olivia. I'm from Wonder Foundation, um, and Michelise has cooked this amazing meal tonight, um, and. The proceeds, or some of them, are going to be going to the foundation, and that's really extraordinary because one of the things that we really want to do is to involve local people, like Mick being from Congo, in uh, empowering other people in those countries and through education. So um, it's amazing, and just to, to have been here this evening, to have had this extraordinary food, I think it was the best fish I have ever had. Um, it was just a breathtaking meal and I'm just so happy that I've been here this evening. Hello, so we've come to the end of the night and to be honest, I don't want it to end. It's been awesome. The food has been so good. I love the way he's fused the different tastes, um, presented things differently. The presentation was smashing and yeah, like please, if you don't know about Chef Mick, then you better know. Do purchase his book. Do come along to any of his future events. He is phenomenal. And if you're Congolese, we need to support each other anyway. So that's the more reason why you need to be supporting Chef Mick. See you.